Hello guys, I am Ankit. This week we shall see another Pamamal Lilko, smallest range one. So you are given integer array and integer k. In one operation, you can choose any index i. That index i should be bit, uh, in in bit, in the array range itself and change nums of i to nums of i plus x, where x is an integer from the range minus k to k. So you can apply this operation at most once for each index i. The score of the array is a difference between the maximum and minimum elements in array. So return the minimum score of array after applying the mentioned operation at most once for each index. So what the question says is let's say they are given an array. Okay. On comma 10. Or 0 comma 10 only. So what do they mean is and we have k equal to 2 they have given. So what do they mean by this? The range will be minus k to plus k you know. So minus 2 to plus 2. So for each index in the array, for each index in the array, okay, you can add or subtract minus k to plus k elements. I mean add minus k to plus k elements. So that means if I tell minus 2, 0 minus 2 will be minus 2, 10 minus 2 will be 8. If I, uh, so in this range, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So either you can add any one of these elements if if it is minus 2 means adding minus 2 means it will be subtracted only right so among these elements you can pick one and add it to the each element in the array this is what you need to do by doing so we have to make sure that the resultant array what do you get by adding the elements to each element in the array the resultant array by you have to make sure that the difference between the maximum and minimum element in that resultant array should be minimum that is what the question says. So again, I would explain that given some integer k, we have the range k means minus k to plus k. So here minus 2 to plus 2 means minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. All these numbers you have. So you can pick any one of these numbers. Like for 0, you can uh, add minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. 10, uh, you can add minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Only one of them from this. So let's say if we do for 0, if we take uh, 0 plus 2, just for the sake of it. And for 10, if we do 10 minus 2, it will be 8. So you have got the uh, representation such that the difference between the maximum and minimum element in the array. Here the maximum is this, minimum is this. Difference between D2 is 6. And this should be the minimum. So you have to transform the array such that the difference between maximum and minimum element in the array should be minimum. And you have to return this minimum answer. So if I add 0 plus minus, uh, 0 plus 1 means it will be 1. 10 minus 1 I will do. That will be 9. So 9 minus 1 will be 8. If I take any other option, 0 minus 2 and 10 minus 2, if I do, it will be 8. So minus 2 to 8 means again 8 minus of minus 2. How much? Minimum minus maximum. That is 10 only. So you can see the minimum uh, difference you are getting is 6 here. How do you get to know it is 6? So have you observed something? How do we get 6? See, for 0, I added 2. For 10, I subtracted minus 2. So that means, so what does it mean? So if they given a range, 0, 10, and minus 2 to plus 2, we have. For the minimum element, whatever you have, you increment the range by maximum element in the range. So the minimum element in the array, if we have 0, 1, 10, okay, a lot confuses, we'll keep it to 1 for the smallest element in the array, you add the largest element in the range. So 0 plus 2. Here. So that from 0, it has the pointer from 0 in the number line if you represent 2. And 8 we have here, like that any numbers we have. From 0, the number line is moving to 2 now. 2 to 10 it is now. Okay. Imagine, after doing for this object. Now for the 10, you decrease the range because this is the largest element in the array. We have to pick how do we decrease the range by picking the smallest element in the range that is 10 minus 2 that will give you 8. So that is how you are getting the minimum difference as 6. So whatever element you have in the array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here 5 minus 1. So this is the largest and smallest element in the array, right? Okay. So for 1, you add 2. That means it will become 3. For 5, you'd subtract 2. That will become 3. So that both are pointing at the same position. That means in the number line from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you had pointed at 1 and 5. 
So in incremented by one, uh, two, that will be pointing to three now. To decrement five by three, that will point to uh, two. Uh, decrement five by two, that will again point to three. So both are pointing at the same position. What is the difference here? The element has been replaced by one, two, three, four, five. So this has become three, this has become three. If we have like this, this is the array, array element of one, two, five. So here you add three, here you add three. Three minus three, the smallest or largest and smallest element in the array. I will not take any element. Let's say only one and five is present. So you add three, then subtract, uh, add two, subtract two. That will give you three. Pointing to the same position. That means what is the difference between maximum and minimum element in the array? In this case, zero. So you might ask, in this case, if I do, if I take this array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this will be replaced by 3, this will be replaced by 3. But if you see the maximum element is 4, not 3. No. So how do we handle the conditions? For that, what we have to check is, whatever array you have, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Find the subtraction of maximum minimum element in the array. As I explained the logic. So this is 10, uh, 0 to 10, what we do? For this, you add plus 2, minus 2, 2 comma 8. The, the, the difference is 6. How do you get 6 actually? Nothing but 10 minus 0. Subtract it. Minus 2 star k. The highest value. So, basically, here you are moving the pointer 2 points ahead. 2 months decrement. Total of 4. So, that is nothing but 2 into k. If we had 3, 3 points ahead, 3 points behind. So this will become 3, 10 minus 8 will be 7, which is nothing but total of 6 points you have added. That is 2 into 6. 2 into 3, that will be equal to 6. So what to do? 10 minus 0 is 10. Minus 2 into 2 will be 4. That is equal to 6. Not this 6, I'm telling the difference for this example. So how, how it works is, the find the difference, 5 minus 1. Okay. Plus two star k. Minus minus sorry. So five minus one. Five minus one is four. Minus two into two. How much it is? Four. Let's say two is the k. K equal to two in this case also. So how much will it be? So four. Four minus four is zero. What does it indicate? This indicates that it is possible to make all the elements of the array to a same number. That means for 1, you add 2, it will become 3. For 5, you minus 2, it will become 3. For 2, you add 1, that will become 3. For 4, you decrement 1, that will become 3. For 3, keep it as such. Because if we k equal to 2, we have the range minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. So you can pick any one, any one of them. It is not necessarily 2 only minus 2 only. So for 1 you added 2. For 2 you added 1. 3 added 0. So it will be 3 only. 4 add minus 1. That will become my 3. 5 you add minus 2. That will be continue. So all the elements are same. So this is when when this result becomes 0 or less than 0. When, when will it be less than 0? The other example they will take on. 1, 3, 6, k equal to 3. So 1, 3, 6 and k equal to 3 in this case. So 6 minus 1 will be 5. Maximum minimum element subtract. Minus 2 into 3. That will be 6. Here you are getting minus 1. What does it minus 1 indicate? This indicates that again same. You can make all the elements of the array into same number. So if you add um, you are making it to 4. You can make it all of them to 4. That means see 3 means 1 plus 3 if you do 4 it will be 6 Minus how much if you do it, it will become for 6 minus 2 because it will come within the range minus 8 to plus. For 3, you add 1. That will also come in the range minus 8 to plus. That will be 4. So all of them will be 4 and all of them are pointing to the same in the number. So difference between maximum and minimum element in R is 0. So whenever you do a number, maximum minus minimum element in R minus 2 star k, if it is less than or equal to 0, that means you just return 0, which indicates you can make all the elements in the array to 0. Oh, here it had given minus 1 because, so for 1, if I add 3, so 1 plus 3 will be 4. 
for the maximum element 6 if i subtract it as i said uh, i have to move the pointer ahead 1 comma 6 if it is present so 1 you add that will move to 4 6 i subtract 3 that will move to 3 here so this is why you are getting minus 1 3 minus 1 will be 4 okay but you can make it equal one minus one means again one uh, difference one point difference you have but make it a minimum uh, distance point as as possible as one that is zero only so that is why whenever you get less than or equal to zero you return zero otherwise what you need to do otherwise return like this directly zero to ten k equal to two means ten minus zero minus two star two equal to four that will be six is the answer so we shall implement uh, the logic now. Oh, this is not required anyhow. Each number in nums. So we have to define the maximum minimum, right? So let maximum value be equal to max of maximum. Okay, integer dot maximum value, uh, minimum value, I'll like int minimum and let the minimum value be equal to int max initially. So now inside this max will be equal to max of max comma number. Similarly, it applies for the minimum also. Yes, once you find the maximum minimum, now let's find the smallest difference so smallest difference equal to max minus min so given bracket minus two star key. okay so now return we'll give the condition here so smallest difference Is equal to zero. If it is less than or equal to zero, then what should be done? How do we get the condition? Question mark. Then return zero. Otherwise, return the smallest possible difference. Yes. Now we can run this. I don't know why I'm giving length here, it should be size now. This is not required at all, so remove this. Okay, I didn't define the data type. Yeah, and for Java also, same logic applies integer minimum, maximum, and you find the answer. So we can submit this also. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.